were going to cause delay. Listen, it was the delay of the bridegroom that made the oil of other people finish. If the bridegroom came early, all ten would have been honored. Are we together now? The Bible says they were all virgins. But the delay of the bridegroom, the unit of destiny is time. I want to pray for someone. The delay of the bridegroom. Haratu Ziata. Listen. One man, Joseph, pleaded with him after solving his problem. He said, please, when you go to the king, don't delay me here. Talk to the king. One man's forgetfulness added two years to another man's life. I pray for you. Everything that has made you forgotten, I stand by the God of heaven and I open the book of remembrance in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the book of remembrance be opened. Be opened. Be opened. Be opened. Be opened. Be opened. And that night could not hazard or sleep. And he said, bring me the chronicles. When they opened it, he saw where Mordecai had saved his life and was not rewarded i don't know who you have helped some of you have spent your life raising people some of you you raise people more than you raise your own children some of them are lifted today and there is a spirit that has turned their face from you i stand by the god of heaven and i declare whoever you have helped to rise i compel them to remember you for good <laughs> I remember talking to a dear man of God who is in politics and one of the few times that I saw an elderly person cry like a baby and he said apostle let me tell you I have helped many people in this nation I was part of their rising I stood by them in truth I helped them sincerely when it was time for lifting as they were recommending me someone will show up from nowhere who has no history of participating in that pain before your enemies get to your helpers in the name of Jesus may a good voice reach them I know a businessman these are true stories and this man helped build and set up a lot of great things and one time they were about to recommend him for something and then here comes these evil people coming again and this is how they push this man there are people here who have spent their lives helping people you are the one who got people born again you are the one who even led them to church when any good thing is about to happen God uses you to lift people but when the reward should come there is a spirit that stands blocking you from that door every door that stands before you every door that stands before you that you will not eat the fruit of your labor I pray by extension to every mother here please listen listen while we were at the rotunda just having some time before we come our, our dear mother here asked me a question and said why is it that many of the youths and the young people are frustrated and I thought closely as we we're walking down this place and I said there is a spirit that has been released in Africa that wants parents to not eat the fruit of their labor please listen it's a wicked and evil spirit a labor and raise children and all of a sudden you will see a child excelling within a state within a nation and the mother is there mama is there laboring she sold firewood to send him to school he's building houses for people and raising the children of others and blessing the parents of others the hand of Zerubbabel that started this work the Bible says that same hand will complete let me pray for every parent here that in the name of Jesus the spirit of rebellion that the devil will want to put on your children to make sure they either don't listen to you or don't end up blessing you I scatter that operation of darkness in the name of Jesus Christ
I know this is a women conference but please permit me to pray for our young people and bless them it is a cost to sit down and be waiting for your parents to die so that your life will find meaning it's a dangerous and evil spirit don't feel offended this is a conference it's our mothers that put this together to bless the body why will you sit down and be waiting you are anticipating let my father die let my mother die so that i can fight over some property it is the joy of every parent to see their children rise in their lifetime and excel father whatever is making our young people to mark time at the same level for many years i stand by the god of heaven and here in this church every young person hear me in the name that is above all names by prophecy i push you into your destiny i push you into your destiny a life of dignity a life of relevance a life of dignity a life of relevance a life of dignity a life of relevance hallelujah praise the name of the Lord one more prayer point and then we'll pray over this request God is a God of portions that means it is not God's desire for you to be the one serving people forever a day should come listen a day should come understand what i'm saying please this is with respect to establishment a day should come when god should also carve your own niche and honor you so that you can own start your own life this was the mistake laban refused to allow jacob go because god is a god of portions when you serve for a while then he settles you and now you build your own tent yourself then raise others too then they will raise others too that's how you perpetuate blessings that's why blessings are not perpetuated in africa because people are not raised laban refused to allow jacob to be established he conjured through divination to find out that there was something on jacob that was responsible for his blessings there's nothing wrong with people paying you or blessing you but there are some of you here you are the only one out of 12 people who is doing well there is still trouble oh. you are still not free are we together now no matter how much you are making if you are only one out of 12 people the truth is that you are going to go through stress that may kill you young is that true do you agree with me so it's not enough to pray that God lift me you must pray God lift those who are around me too this is one of the cure for jealousy bitterness envy if all the brothers of Joseph had dreams too all of them would be partners in progress but because only one person had a dream the brother said we'll kill you it's an unpleasant discussion and I apologize but there are some of us here as you are standing the war between you and family members extended relatives simply because of what God is doing in your life you can't have peace to enjoy what God gave you ah you marry a rich man and you are forgetting us and you are saying what is all this Africa makes you feel guilty for being responsible they make you feel guilty for doing well It's not enough to pray that you excel you must pray that all who are around he said as for me and my house and my house we will serve the Lord me and my house we will prosper me and my house we will rise me and my house we will not be the ones begging people I know you are standing for a while I apologize I want to rebuke a spirit here there are families here nobody has ever been a leader everybody remains a servant from father to mother to younger ones the only place you find in life I'm not just talking of serving like kingdom service I'm talking of slavery out of ten children eight children seven children nobody lifts up his head because there are horns Zechariah 1 18 
these are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Jerusalem, against Judah, and against Israel, so that no man doth lift his head in the name of Jesus. If there is any covenant tying any family down, that the only way you will eat is by being slaves. I stand by the grace of God here at this service and in the name of Jesus we declare those ordinances are broken forever. Those ordinances are broken forever. Those ordinances are broken forever. Hallelujah. Thou shalt not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day. The noisome pestilence. The destruction that wasted in noonday. Armed robbers want to steal a car. They wait till they, you pack your own. Just when you pack it here, they come. They want to arrest people for something. They wait until your child just shows up. Then they carry him. And, it is, you will be too late for tragedy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whenever trouble will show up, it's minus you, minus your children. In the name of Jesus Christ. Job said he will deliver you from six things. One of it is the scourging tongues of men. Anybody saying, let's see what will become of them, they will see forever. Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? We're going to pray. I believe in the power of prayer. I have a covenant of answered prayer with God. That's why I pleaded that we pray over this request. Because we desire that you never forget this conference. That you will remember that here at this women conference, this was where I submitted an impossible request. And the God of heaven arose and did mighty things for me. Provable manifestations of his presence. I'm going to bow my knees to God here. You may not kneel, but just stretch your hands and let's agree. Let's call upon the God who answers prayers. I plead the blood. I plead the blood. I plead the blood. I plead the blood. The blood. I plead the blood. I plead the blood. I plead the blood. Eternal saving blood. I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood. I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood. I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood. Eternal sesh, alabaradusia talakatosia. I don't. There is an advocate, you Jesus the righteous. The Listen to me. It does not matter what the cause. You see, they came to Jesus and they said, Who seen that this man was born blind? Was it his father or him? And he said, Neither, but that the glory of the Lord be revealed. We come by the blood over this request. Father, in the name of Jesus here at the king's court. Here at this women conference, this is a representation of the tears of many, the pain of many, the shame of many, the disappointments of many, the expectations of many, the long-standing issues of many. Father, for some people, these are death sentences. For some people, these are issues of grievances for some people these are long-awaited expectations but in the name of Jesus 
God, you who answers by fire, arise, O mighty one. Breathe upon this request. Turn them into testimonies. In the name of Jesus. 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 Every spirit responsible for the issues represented here by the blood of the eternal covenant we decree and declare let it give way now yeah. hear me any human agent in fraternity with spirits and are responsible for the pain written here by the God of heaven we declare vengeance and judgment vengeance and judgment vengeance and judgment Luke 18 it was a widow who came and said avenge me my adversary and for a while that man would not avenge her but for her importunity Lord I bow my knees alongside our mothers the women of excellence that you have so ordained and we cry on behalf of every request here turn it into testimonies some of the requests here are here because you refuse to hear God God spoke and you did not listen we plead the blood and we declare mercy some of the requests here are here because of mistakes that people have made in the name of Jesus we plead the blood some of the requests are here because of the manipulations of men and spirits in the name of Jesus Christ we declare liberty forever father every one here who has written a request that has been appointed to death untimely death we bow our knees to you and in the name of Jesus we close the mouth of the grave please say amen we close the mouth of the grave hallelujah there are spirits that refuse to allow resources enter the hands of people they work diligently they give their best but rewards do not come we call upon the God of heaven who is a rewarder of men in this season may the dew of heaven be open for you in the name of Jesus Christ may the dew of heaven be open for you for some of you the request you have written here is not even for yourself it's for your children the devil wants to wage war and scatter your family but in the name that is above all names God who is also the keeper of Israel may he be the keeper of your home in John 17 Jesus prayed and said all that you have given me I have kept and none is lost except the son of perdition and that that scripture may be fulfilled everything and everyone God has given you I declare they are kept in the name of Jesus and I pray for the women in this church and by extension every woman who is watching from around the world women are gates in the realm of the spirit we decree and declare the voice of women will not be silenced in the name of Jesus particularly the women in this church we stand to announce to you by the spirit foundations of sapphire in the name of Jesus step into seasons of favor step into seasons of lifting 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 that when men say there is a casting down for you let it be that there is a lifting up in the name of Jesus Christ Therefore, we declare the fire of God falls upon this request. They are turned into testimonies, marvelous testimonies, 
marvelous testimonies marvelous testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ it says weep not for the lion of the tribe of Judah the root of David let me speak to you whatever has brought tears in your eyes I know that in the last one year it's been a challenging period but in the name that is above all names I decree and declare your season of crying comes to an end your season of crying comes to an end your season of crying comes to an end the Bible says do weeping and just for a night it says joy comes with the morning we declare that the dawn of a new day happens for you right now in the name of Jesus Christ and for everyone connected to you who is not here because you are here in the name of Jesus we send angels to homes we send angels to continents where your loved ones are represented and we declare that the same grace and the same testimony here may it rest upon them for good in the name of Jesus two more prayers and we're done let me pray for your spiritual life no matter what you have if you lose the presence of God you lost everything there are people here your prayer life has gone down in truth your word study life your passion for god it didn't used to be like this you used to have a hunger as an individual as homes as families don't feel guilty the hair of samson can grow back we decree and declare in the name of jesus every altar that has been void of genuine fire the fire of his presence let there be a resurrection now let there be a reignition now. Let there be a reactivation now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray. Let sons and daughters rise from the king's court. Noble men and women. Kings and queens. In music, in business, in ministry, in politics, in corporate life. In the name of Jesus Christ, shame and reproach remains far from this church. Shame and reproach remains far from our mothers. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now let me encourage you, as you return back home, please take the time to just celebrate God. Ideally, after prayer like this, you wash it down, with the sacrifice of praise that's how you seal things and thanksgiving he says be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving make your request known so lord we thank you in the name that is above all names